Greetings from Israel on this, the 25th of December, 2023. And for many people around the world, and of course many Christians, today is a hugely important day, a day that people have been waiting for. Uh, children, of course, wait for this day with great anticipation around the world. And um, uh, of course, in other parts, they may have celebrated yesterday, the 24th, or indeed in coming days. Uh, the first coming of Jesus, the first coming of Yeshua to this land. They're celebrating the arrival of the Jewish Messiah. And what is amazing for many of us here in Israel is that people are celebrating and, and forgetting Israel's part in this great coming of the Messiah, our Savior, our Redeemer, the first time. And we are waiting with fervent expectation for his second coming where he will return to Jerusalem and you know we're looking for that day and, and the word of God has amazing focus on that day Zechariah chapter 12 to get a more prophetic understanding of that day I will read from verse 2 behold I will make Jerusalem a cup of drunkenness to all the surrounding peoples when they lay siege against Jeru Judah and Jerusalem and verse 3 and it shall happen in that day that I will make Jerusalem a very heavy stone for all peoples all who would heave it away will surely be cut in pieces though all nations of the earth are gathered against it and in verse 4 the first three words are in that day in that day well you know what we're seeing at least a forerunner of in that day because uh, when you look at the way the united nations have voted against israel even while israel is going through the worst experience of its, ex its existence since the holocaust in world war ii the slaughter on october the 7th has not gone away. There are still over a hundred hostages in Gaza, including a family with a with children, an eleven month old baby, who are held hostage by Hamas. And it seems as if the seventh of October doesn't exist anymore when the United Nations take a vote. But in addition, while we have been waiting for the twenty fifth of December, we are waiting that day. This is the 80th day of the current war that we're all experiencing here. And yes, our hearts bleed for those who are suffering in Gaza. And our hearts bleed for the hostages. And what I wish to say, it's not a moral equivalence. Both uh, sets of suffering are as a result of Hamas, who care little for their own people and just want to butcher Jewish people. That's the reality we're dealing with. Please don't allow your news media to, to infiltrate your mind and make it seem like something else. Even yesterday, Israel found five dead hostages in tunnels over the last few days, and we are in despair. They were murdered by Hamas. The word of God talks about that day when the nations will come against Jerusalem and barring one or two nations, the United States, the UK abstaining, one or two other countries, basically the UN votes against Israel. In our hearts, it's already laying siege to us. Isaiah um, also has wonderful verses. And this is what we're praying for right now. I ask you to join us in prayer. Uh, Isaiah 12 talks about that day. Lord, oh Lord, I will praise you. Though you were angry with me, your anger is turned away and you comfort me. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. We're waiting for that day. We're proclaiming that day now. It's the day after this war is over. A day of deliverance. And in that day, verse 4, you will say, praise the Lord, call upon his name, declare his deeds among the peoples, make mention that his name is exalted. Sing to the Lord, for he has done excellent things. This is known in all the earth. And then the final verse of Isaiah 12, it's for us here in the land, but you could join us. You can join us uh, in worship and in praise and adulation. 
Cry out and shout, O inhabitant of Zion, for great is the Holy One of Israel in your midst. Well, we're experiencing some greatness. We had an amazing deliverance um, in our congregation. That is one of our family's sons, uh, uh, a booby trap bomb exploded next to him. It, it wounded seriously several of his company. He himself uh, had poisonous smoke. He had shrapnel wounds. The explosion went off right by him. He was put in an induced coma. He woke up uh, after a day saying, it was a, it's a miracle I'm alive. He's going to make a full recovery. He's undergoing surgery. We ask you to pray for him. His name is Ellie. But we thank God that there was a great day of deliverance in that young man's life. And therefore, God's grace and mercy extended upon him, extended to his family, of course, but also to everyone in our congregation. So, Lord, we just pray for that day, the day of deliverance for Zion, a day of deliverance, Lord, from Hamas for all the people of Gaza, the women and children who have suffered and many who've died because Hamas has used them as human shields. Lord, we pray for a day of deliverance from radical Islam. Lord, we pray for a day of deliverance from all the nations who lay siege to Jerusalem, even in their voting at this current time. And Lord, we pray your blessings from Zion upon all the nations and upon every believer in you who is celebrating your first coming, even, Lord, as we wait patiently for your second coming. And we know you will return and you will stand on the Mount of Olives again and you will fight against those